Hey there, welcome to the first session of creating GraphQL API with the ASP.NET Core for Absolute Beginner. In this session, we will see what we will learn throughout this series and see how related resources like the code project and a link to the other resources will be available. About me, myself Nilay Mehta, currently I am software engineer at Thomson Reuters. I am from Ahmedabad, India and having three years of industrial experience. I have passion for learning and advocating for new technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning. You can read the blog and the other tutorial created by me by visiting the amnilay.com. What will include in this series? Throughout this series, I will create the various project and create the API using the GraphQL as well as consume it in which I will try to cover the almost features of the GraphQL and uh, supported by the GraphQL.NET library. We will see all features mentioned in the introduction video throughout this series. Where are the resources? All projects that I will create through will be available on the GitHub. Link for GitHub repository will be available in the bonus lecture. Along with this, I am also attaching the query file which include the all of the query that I have used throughout this series. This session contains a text file with the name resources. It includes the links to the all of the software sites documentation that I have used throughout this series. Other external resources for downloading file or software will be added into the lecture itself. Bonus lecture also contains a detail about my other courses which are available on Udemy. For those courses, I can provide you a discount coupons. How to ask questions? Feel free to ask a question and clear your doubts. I suggest you to post the question in the question and answer section instead of the personal message. So another students who have the same doubt can easily find the question and its answer. And I can easily track your question also. If the content of the question is sensitive to you and your project or the organization, then you can send me a personal message. I suggest you to watch all the video in the sequence, not jump any sessions. And try to create yourself after watching the video. Because no one can learn by just watching video. You also need to dig your hand and create your own API using the GraphQL.NET library. And if you like this course, then don't forget to give the rating and the reviews. Thank you.